mentioned there was shot dispersion. Um, this absolutely blew my mind when I went through your uh, content because you talking about uh, an example of Jason Day at the time, maybe 2014, 2015, number one ranked player in the world, best driver, and his shot dispersion was about 70 yards. Is that right? 74 yards. He was over John Sinclair's place when he was number one in the world and he was third in strokes gained driving and he hit 20 drivers and the shot pattern is 74 yards wide. And it's, it's just so shocking. Uh, I mean, it's literally so shocking how big shot patterns are, but now let's pretend we, you know, we're playing number 18 at PGA West where there's a lake on the left. It, well, it's not like hitting a draw all of a sudden eliminates people talk about you eliminate one side of the course and that's not really what happens. What we're trying to do is eliminate the double cross. Mm -hmm. And so like, if you've got a 74 yard wide shot pattern and there's a lake on the left, the only way to eliminate the left is not by drawing it. It's not by fading it. It's by aiming 37 yards right of it. Again, if you've got a shotgun blast that is 74 yards wide, that this would be an obvious statement, but for whatever reason in golf, we just in, in, in with a shotgun, I feel like such a Texan always talking about shotguns, but <laughs> with a shotgun, I know I've got a shotgun blast coming. It's not like I'm like, yeah, and there is a BB right in the middle. I just don't know which one of those BBs is going to be the BB in the middle. And almost as importantly, I just don't know which shot's coming next. So it's like you're firing a shotgun, but only one pellet comes out at a time and you don't know which one is going to come. I know which one you want to come, but you simply don't know, no matter how much you focus, no matter how much you try, you know, a lot of people are always like, sometimes you just got to step up and hit a good shot. I'm like, then why didn't you do that the first 71 holes? Like, it's just not, it's just not how the game works. Unfortunately, we've got to sit back. We've got to pay more attention. We've got to be more disciplined. And that's, again, that's the whole goal. I just hope like golfers can realize that that's the number one player in the world, 74 yard shot pattern for a driver. I mean that it, I can't imagine what it is for amateur golfers, especially in the eighties or nineties or hundreds, you know, it's like, <clears throat> Well, it's huge. <laughs> it's fascinating, but I mean, we just expect so much from ourselves. Like, that's why it's so funny when I was like, I instantly, when I heard that, some stats to stick with you, and that one will literally stay with me forever because I was like, wow, I've been way too hard on myself. If I don't hit a 30-yard wow. wide fairway, you know, seven out of 10 times, I'm disappointed or something. Or if I'm in the rough, like, oh, what are you doing here? It's like, what are you doing here? This is where you're probably supposed to be sometimes. Well, and it's where even if you drop back to three wood, you just don't hit a three wood that much straighter than driver. And so it's like, well, I'm just going to put this one in the fairway. Like, again, good luck with that. Like, it's just not how it works. So, yes, you will hit a fairway more often with three wood than driver. I shouldn't say you will. You might. Mm -hmm. um, some people don't. I mean, I definitely have gotten rid of a three wood and I just have a driver and a mini driver now. I don't even consider carrying a three wood. I can't imagine a scenario where I'll ever carry a three wood again. That's um, interesting. Yeah, I, I love when people think too, I'm going to hit the three wood to lay up, I'm going to play it safe. But in reality, you you could hit the rough just as easily, not to mention you're going to be farther back, which is just going to make it harder to hit it closer to the pin. Well, and that's the deal is that like best case scenario for most people, you're going to hit the fairway five to 7% more of the time, but a hundred percent of the time you're going to be 30 or 40 yards further. <laughs> like that's, that's just, it's not quite as bad of a uh, coin flip bet as I offered earlier with two to one odds, but it's, the odds are being destroyed by the fact that you're going to have a, a longer shot, approach shot every single time. 